That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. <laughs> All right, hello, hello, and welcome to Eric Does Video Games. I am Eric. We are once again playing The Long Dark, joining Janice Clumps, who is considering drinking her own pee. We are learning a lot about this woman, I am telling you. Also, it is very dark. All right, well, let's get to not drinking our pee then. Uh, all right. Uh, no afflictions. Oh, it's just now getting dark. All right, well, we're going to have to sleep then. No, we're not too tired, but can't do anything while we can't see, so I feel that uh, sleeping is going to be the best bet for now. All right. Finally daylight out. Jeez, that feels like... I get it, the long dark, but it feels like nighttime is twice as long as fucking daytime. It's ridiculous. It, seriously, like, if I go to sleep for a full fucking 12 hours, it should be daylight when I wake up. No, it's like the middle of the night. Alright, so we need to figure out what the fuck we're doing here because we... Oh, look at that wallpaper. Because we need to find a house where we can cook, because we have meat to cook. And also we need to find some other supplies, uh, better clothes, haven't really been that lucky in the way of clothes. I believe this is the way in, if so, there should be something immediately to our left across the street and also behind us, if I recall properly. Problem is that there could be a wolf just outside the door, we don't know. Uh, so we, I hate that, I don't know if anyone noticed that in the last episode, but that little lip smacking mouth noise she does is a little irritating. Uh, sorry Janice, but just stop. Stop. Alright. Let's get ready to run if we need to. All right. What the hell is that noise? I don't I don't know what that noise is, but I don't like it. Uh, we got a house over there. Looks like we have something right here. Let's go quickly. Wow. There's definitely some wolves out here. We'll take that bandage for sure. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Nice. Good finds. Oh no, we cannot get into that car. Okay. Well, we're gonna go inside then. Okay. Quonset garage? Quonset? Quonset? I'm not sure how to say that. Uh, oh, we got some food in here though. Herbal tea. Anything in the fridge? It looks like some more sodas. Yep. Another one in there as well. Alright, that's good. Bathroom, so we can get water. More cardboard box. Another flare. We can use this. Another flare. Oh, okay. We'll leave those two there for now. We don't need to carry. I think we have three or four now. Nice little. Oh, is this a workbench? It is a workbench. Whetstone. Um, we'll take it. It's very light. Oh, handy. Quality tools will come in handy. Uh, take those. Scrap metal. Okay. Yeah, why not? We'll take it. We'll read in our spare time. And a fire barrel. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's peek our head out the door real quick. Man. This is going to be a good place to hold up, I think, for a little bit. If we need to. Okay. What is... There goes that bear. It's a ways up the hill, which is great. At least we know not to go that way now. Uh, Alright, let's check out this house real quick. We got a bunch of cars over here. Alright. It looks like the uh, the garage is definitely going to be the place to go. There is a bed. There is the fire barrel with the rack on it. There's a fireplace in here. We can cook at the fireplace. Ah, alright. Seems a little better already then. Uh... Let's see here. The bathroom. Yep. All right. All right. We have to remember that even though that bear was going up the hill, he very much could come back down it looking for food. Uh, we're just going to use a flare. We have a decent amount of them. Might as well use one. Plus, while we're running back to the garage, we can use it to maybe fend off a wolf if need be since they seem pretty close to us. Alright, let's look around here a little more. I mean, we can leave some of this stuff around here since we're going to be coming back. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Uh, sure, we'll hang on to this. That's not what I wanted. Nope, nope, nope. Thank you. Okay. 
Not what I wanted, but okay. We need to find pry bar for sure. Uh, so I'm going to say let's get this fire started. Catch up chips. A note left behind as well. Well, let's get this started. The fire going. Uh, get this food cooked. Or can we cook both? I think we can cook both. We can. So we'll do both right there. Look at that. Hey, about time, right? All right, let's see what this note is real quick while that cooks. Two more joined us today. Seems their horse couldn't go any further. One of them called Sean. He's from Ireland. Not quite home, but close enough. Apparently he came here for an acting career. Best thing, though, is he's got a bag full of fruit pastilles that he's going to share with just me. Probably for the best since everyone's so paranoid. The other idiots would probably think he was trying to poison them. I thought it would be safer this far north. Bless people and all. Maybe I should leave. We'll leave it. We'll leave it here. We don't need to take it. Uh, how's our meat doing? Alright. This is cooking. This is cooked. Alright, so we're going to take this and uh, eat this right away. This is the lesser one. Yeah, let's just eat this right away. Ah, uh, delicious, delicious rabbit. Okay. Let's take the lantern. How much does it weigh? Handy. Weighs three. Okay, we can handle that. We can handle that. Okay. Oh, that is great. Look at that. That's very nice. Man, this really illuminates the place, doesn't it? Oh, we didn't check over here, did we? Another workman? Oh, no, we didn't. Uh, actually, since our cleaning kit's right there, why don't we make this our little weapons workbench? Sounds good to me. We'll keep all that scrap ammo that we picked up, and we do have another cleaning kit we could leave here as well. Is there something hidden in the corner there? What is that? A fire striker. I'll take it. Metal tool designed to help. Okay. Yeah, absolutely we will. I wonder if there's more stuff behind there. Or even behind here. You can't really jump over stuff and remove stuff to look without breaking it down. So you just have to kind of check all the corners. Oh, like there's a saw right there. Okay. We already have one, so we don't need that one. Anything hidden around over here? Anything hidden behind the box? I can't tell. As long as I take to break that down. Yeah, let's just do it real quick. Alright. Nothing there, though. Oh, another bullet. Yep, we can put that over here. I think we can put this away now, maybe. It's getting close. Close to that time. Nowhere near that time. Wow. It's very dark in here. Can I just set the... Can I set it down? I can place it. Oh. There we go. Oh, that is great. This is a handy tandy tool. Oh, it is not light enough at all. It is very dark and very snowy. Uh, looks like we're going to go back inside and wait it out. Hmm. And then I think we're going to head to the ocean front there, or lakefront, whatever it is, and explore maybe some of those cabins if we can. Um, maybe go see if there's anything else down past where that house is that we just were before here. Uh, but we're going to go back inside. I like that a lot. Uh, so yeah, a little exploration episode. I know there wasn't too much excitement, but we have a ton of stuff now. There is so much food here. We found a ton of food. We just need to find some kind of weapon other than a knife. Because that's all we have right now, especially with these wolves lurking around. And especially if they're going to be by the uh, lakefront or the shorefront uh, that we want to get to and explore around. So yeah, I think next time we're going to go down by that house that we went to right before here. And see if there's anything else down around there. I know there was, it looked like a, a ruined house by it, but there could be another one on the other side of that. Uh, there's also the dock right there, which could have boathouses or something. We'll just have to go down and take a look. But uh, we will do that next time. So until then...